today's build, uh, changing a few things. I actually want to take that box down. That's why I put my ATV tires. So by taking that down, I'm going to put a full set right across. I want to put it like halfway here and over here. Uh, but I'm not going to do that today, I don't think. But um, I am definitely going to change the battery in here. That uh, came out of, um, I believe it was either a forklift or a scissor lift. It's been good. It's been here like four years. Then it's job. I'm going to replace it with two deep cycle batteries. And... Um, change things up. I have to move things around in order to accommodate the two different batteries. And that's why I keep everything. I have a 3000 watt inverter there. I have switches for all the different zones. I have the solar power, uh, um, we call it relay there. And it's charging. And so I'm going to change things around. Okay, so we have the batteries here. We have one battery number one and battery number two. What I've done is I've taken the negative of this one, gone over to the negative of this one. Positive of this one, gone over to the positive of this one here. And if you take a reading between this point and this point should be 12 to 13 volts. From this point to this point should be 12 to 13 volts. And then from this point, this positive to this negative or vice versa should be 13 12 to 13 volts all right uh, the reason we do this is one battery is lower than the other uh, oh actually sorry in parallel it keeps the voltage the same the current changes so you have a little more juice out of it if you were to go positive to negative here that means from this point to this point um, you'd have 24 volts so you don't want to do that it's not wrong just for a different application so I have my solar panel uh, regulator uh, these two wires go to the solar panel, and these are the chargers. So the pl a positive here, I went to one battery, and the negative went to the other battery. Simple, right? So I'm basically using a positive or negative from one, positive or negative from the other. Uh, this way, when you're drawing, you're drawing evenly. Um, there's arguments about that, but uh, some people take it just from one battery, which is right, but if this one's, let's say, half the life or dead it's going to drain this one so by doing it this way it evens it out that's my argument now the inverter you have the positive here and negative i did the same thing I went to positive on this side went to negative on this side to drain the same uh, you did see the four switches i have there not really important but i'll tell you anyways three of them are lights and the reason i have them switched off is because if i'm working inside i want Make sure I don't get electrocuted or something like that, it's just a safety feature. And I do this, this one here is for the outside lights and I have a switch outside and if I'm parking it I don't want somebody to turn it on and drain my battery so I shut it off. The fourth one's for the truck. The truck, um, let's say it's been overcast and everything, I had the same situation uh, not too long ago with the old battery. It was dying out on me, the solar panel wasn't charging fast enough. So I was driving to my spot, turned this on and the truck charges the batteries too as well and from here this goes also positive negative always keep it consistent and that's it uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, just to make it simple some trailers do not have the solar panel they just have an inverter um, with the propane and the front if you can picture that um, it's the exact same thing all it is the exact same thing and then what I would if you want to charge them up let's say you have a external plug-in to charge your batteries uh, go the same way one and two and then into your charger you trickle charge and charges both of them until they're full thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe follow me on Instagram and uh, Facebook take care bye
done everything here, cleaned it up a bit. I had made a mistake from the beginning, but I fixed it. Okay, what I've done is plus to plus, positive to positive, negative to negative. And then from the solar panel and everything else, I've done is I've taken the positive from this battery and taken the negative from this battery. So, and make sure you don't crisscross anything else because then you're gonna get 24 volts instead of 12. So if you look here, if I go plus to negative, I get 13.16, which is good, okay? And if I go to here, to this negative, exact same, and so forth. Okay, so the reason we do this, you could take the positive and negative from this battery and it's jumped to here, it's no problem. But I found, well, there's a lot of debate about it, I'm not really 100% sure, but if you take it from one battery, you have a bad battery, that will kill this one. So by crisscrossing it, taking the positive and negative from one and the other, uh, it will last longer. Now if you have three batteries, it's the same thing. You take uh, negative or positive from the first one, you take the negative or positive from the last one. All right, so it can have 20 batteries. We see that with UPS systems. So, okay then, and that's it for this. Now let's uh, make sure it works. I'm actually gonna go through it here with you a sec. Let's go through this here. You got the two batteries here. That one there is the regulator for the solar panel that charges the batteries. What that does is um, prevents it from overcharging and cooking the batteries. So if the batteries are full, it stops it. Over here, I have four switches. This one here, well, I'm going to mark them actually. I'm going to put labels on there. This one here is for my pickup. So if let's say the batteries are dead or something, a uh, solar was off, for some reason or another, I want to charge it. I, Turn that on and the battery uh, from the truck while I'm driving will charge the batteries. Okay, that's happened a couple times with the old battery when it was dying, so I kept it charged. Well, don't use it very often. And then I have these switches here and they turn on different things inside. Okay, one is for the outside light here. See, I have, um, uh, let me see here. See, that's a light there. I have it on. I have a switch over here on the side. But when I'm parking, I don't want anybody to turn that on and uh, leave my light on and kill my battery. So right there is a switch. I believe it's... Nope, not that one. This one. Yeah, see. I killed it. So turn it on. That's just a bypass. Okay, so, and then that's that. And then these two here are just two different circuits inside there uh, for lighting and plugs. And that's basically it. This is my 3000 watt inverter, uh, which gives me 110 inside. It works pretty good, I have no complaints. Ideally, they want you to plug in one battery there and one battery there. But what happens with that is it gets complicated with the charging system. So uh, I decide just to use one side and it works fine. For what I need it for is great. I basically just run the microwave once in a while or the toaster oven and it works. Uh, toaster oven is a little bit harder but it does work. Uh, but basically it's just lights and stuff like that. Alright, that's it. This is, And then I carry this stuff here. Uh, this is just uh, if I want to charge something up or um, whatever. Uh, this is... Uh, uh, emergency cables basically. That's all I have. Cut.